Hi, I'm Dwight Smith. I'm a junior guard from Omaha, Nebraska, and it's five days to tip off. I chose Colorado State because uh, I was here around the Coach Miles era. Um, I had a good relationship with uh, Nico Medved, who first recruited me. And then uh, I just followed the footsteps of my brother and my dad, talking to me a while ago before he passed about choices and staying with your brother, so I thought it was a good fit. Just communications. I actually didn't know until Probably my sophomore year of high school, I was a big guy in football, um, played big little league football, played in high school, uh, had a coach that really was pushing me to go for high school uh, or uh, college football, actually, and was talking about offers and stuff. But I uh, had a couple injuries in high school, went away from the track side, so I decided uh, basketball around, I think, sophomore year. That's tough. Uh, I know I did a lot of interning and stuff. Uh, I got a big eye opener for like a student affairs type job. Um, that was pretty big this summer. Did some internships and stuff. So I'm kind of leaning towards that. Uh, but also a similar position to like the Steve McDonald or Aaron Dunn would actually be something I'm interested in uh, towards our school or just academics as well. So. It has to be my sophomore year going to my first NCAA tournament uh, during the Coach Miles era. We played Murray State, and uh, it was actually the uh, last game my dad got to see of me and my brother play together, so it's a special moment. I'd probably have to say just my encore IQ, actually. I think I've just grown throughout the years being an older guy, uh, different coaches, seeing a lot of different things and different perspectives. So actually, I think it's just more the thinking side, even though I could do a lot more with conditioning and thinking through tiredness. So. Team together, to me, is just all about being a family. It's more of a tradition type thing, I'd say for me. Uh, just no matter what, you're gonna have guys come in, come out. You're gonna go through hard times, good times. It's just all about the experience and just being together as a team, really. So. Favorite basketball player has to be Kobe. I'm a big Kobe fan. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Mike for now. <laughs> go with Mike for now. That's really tough. I might have to say Kawhi Leonard. I might have to say Kawhi Leonard. That was, I mean, at the time, I mean, he was the guy at San Diego State, but he didn't blossom because that was the whole Jimmer era and all that, and the hype was on him. But, I mean, to look where he is now, it probably has to be Kawhi Leonard. Actually, my grandmother's cinnamon rolls. She makes them for me every time I go home, and I just have the biggest craving for those every time. So it got to be that. Big, big music guy, but I <laughs> uh, recently got into like a big shoe type thing, so I just got a collection of certain types of shoes that I only wear like out. So <laughs> I'm real weird about that, but just a unique style I've had for a while. Um, before a game, I'm a big rap guy, but it just depends on the type of game. So I, there's a lot of slow rap that has like a lot of lyrics that I listen to just to like get into what they're saying, so I can kind of have a feel for either my life and the lyrics and tie it together and then it kind of motivates me. When I was a kid, I was huge on football. I wanted to be the next Randy Moss. No one was going to separate me from that. I was just a huge wide receiver. I still am, but it's just, it all really kind of went away. But I mean, that was my big thing. I wanted to play football. I wanted to be a wide receiver. That was my thing. I actually like kind of the horse tooth area. That's just I'm just a good getaway. I mean, if you really go up there and kind of look around, it's amazing just to be up there. You could take a dip in the summer and just go up there and relax. Sometimes even a nighttime view, I went up there once, and it was just kind of a real humbling thing. I mean, just looking at the mountains every day, that's something you, I, don't, I never got when I was back home, so kind of important to me. atmosphere, especially how it's transformed throughout the years, it's just been crazy. I mean, you got a little taste of it my freshman year, getting into some big games, but it was more as I started to become more important in my role in the game, I just started to get the connection with people in the crowd and just the 
coaching styles and stuff like that. So as soon as we start actually getting a lot better and <laughs> the arenas start picking up, you can just kind of feel how close everything is. It's not like some gyms where it's far apart or anything. This is really just kind of a special place. So. Uh, <laughs> boxer dog named Bo. I love him to death. Young dude. <laughs> I love him. Biggest influence on my basketball career had to be my dad. I mean, he played. He he was there from day one through all the insight, all the things that happened. And I mean, now I just gotta kind of play in his name. I mean, Greg will be gone. He's influenced me so much. But I mean, the first person that ever told me to pick up the ball was my dad. So I owe him all of it. Probably just my family. I mean. Throughout the stuff that's going on back home, there's just a lot of controversies, gang stuff. I know childhood friends that are in jail, things that are happening. But, I mean, not being able to see my family as much as I can, especially the young ones that are growing up and being an influence in their life. Like, a lot of my older cousins and stuff were to me is kind of a big thing that I'm missing out on, especially being there for my mom now that my dad passed and stuff. That's a big thing as well. Not seeing my grandma as much. So just the family ties really what kind of <laughs> takes me back. So. This class I'm taking at CSU had to be nonverbal communication from Carolyn Sabbath. Dr. Sabbath, favorite teacher by far. If you see this, you are my favorite teacher, and that was just a class that, uh, it was a communications course that just made me think a lot about the nonverbals and verbal side of kind of how people do their everyday lives. And it made me tap into a lot of different stuff I didn't know and actually get definitions of things I didn't know and noticed throughout every day. So something I actually paid attention to, one of those classes. So I credit you. <laughs>